uh, let's test this machine. So we could press this button, the heat bridge will come down. If we want to uh, adjust the, the, the price, price down, the speed for the price down, we could adjust this button anti clockwise lose it. The speed will will fasten. You can say very fast. If you want to uh, you can see you can make it better. You can say the speed is very fast for the price down speed. If you want to fasten the speed, just the slow the speed, we can adjust this button clockwise. You can see the the space between this can be zero, then the speed can be very slowly. You can say price down very very slowly, right? Very very slowly. Then if you want to lose it, just fasten the speed, just lose it. Lose it. You can say speed better. If you want to uh, adjust this the speed for the <coughs> lift up, we can just uh, adjust this button clockwise. You can slow it. You can see. You can see the speed is very very slow. If you want to fasten the speed, we can lift this button and clockwise. You can see the heating plate lift up very quickly. Yes, right? Okay, adjustment finished. Now let's the adjust this pressure. First we lift up this power and then we we can increase the price by and uh, by clockwise rolling this switch this button. You can see this this label, this uh, needle just uh, Increase from four to six, right? Five and six. If we want to decrease the pressure, we put the anti-clockwise switch this button. You can see it's very clearly say this needle just the come down to four, right? Normally we set the four is enough. Then we press this button down the setting for this finish. Normally, the water will come to this this uh, <coughs> tube uh, uh, sometimes. So we have to press this button. Then the water will uh, release from this cup, right? Just uh, press this sometimes. This is the oil for the cylinder oil. The oil the function is for the is the uh, it's good for the cylinder. Cylinder, okay. This must be cylinder oil. Must be full of it. Okay, let's uh, adjust this machine. Let's, uh, this is the controller, temperature and the timer controller. This is the power. First, we press this SC button. The first row become five H. You can press this up arrow to increase the temperature. You would also press this down arrow to de decrease the temperature. Normally we set it to 210 temperature degree. Mm -hmm. Then we press this ST button twice. The first row become filed reverse F. Now we can set the time. We could press this up arrow to increase the time. Oh, and we could also press it in this down arrow to decrease the time. Normally we set it to 25 seconds. And then we press the, this SCT button again to finish the setting. Now the heating plate became to heat up. This is the power switch and this is the counter. Once the heat press machine press one time, the counter view count one. If you want to clean it up, you could press this button, then it becomes zero. This is the manual start switch. This is the emergency stop. This is the emergency stop as well, double emergency stop. This is the um, protection setting for, uh, for this heating plate. If you put the hand here and you, you, you let the machine work, but the machine will not work because this will protect your hands. This is the remote manual start. Okay. 
we can press this the menu start then the timer will come down to 25 seconds to zero once the time finish the hidden plate will lift up let's see this hidden plate will on if you want to this button press down just the press Must remember this button must be firmly pressed down. So the heating plate will firmly press down. Then the heating plate. If you want to stop this machine, so the press this button, the machine will not work. Now let's test it. If you want to stop the machine, press this button. Remember, the button must be pressed down very firmly. Okay, then turn off this button.